Well, another day, another potential strike. This time it's Excel and the vote could come as soon as Tuesday. Nine is Porter Courtney Yoon is live outside Nexel substation in Denver. Courtney, the workers union says that negotiations have stalled. Yeah, that's right, Jordan and Corey, and that comes after months of negotiating that the union is telling us that they've had 23 meetings, 150 different proposals. A federal mediator was even brought in yesterday, and when they left the bargaining table, there was still no deal. The union is asking for better pay, a 20% increase over three years instead of the 13% Excel offered. They also want guarantees for employees at coal power plants, and they do not want mandatory on-call shifts. If they don't reach a deal, 1900 linemen, power plant operators and gas fitters could vote to strike, which could mean they'd stop working at power plants and they'd stop repairing power lines and gas mains. Union business manager Nate Gutierrez says they're hitting a wall. It's been extremely disappointing and frustrating and, um, and, it, and it makes that reality of, of reaching that deadline a little more and, and that's what's putting these guys on edge a little more is because we don't have progress to re report. In a statement, an Excel spokesperson said we are negotiating in good faith and will continue to do so. We would like to continue making progress. Excel could hire non-union contract workers to fill their positions if they do strike, but the union says that they believe that will be tough to do. Corey Jordan. We'll be keeping an eye on all of it for sure. Courtney, thank you.